this meeting is being live streamed. So just letting you all know, this meeting is being live streamed. So on Facebook Live, we are live right now on the Those Two Sisters page. And it's really off-putting because there's a massive lag. <laughs> I think it's about a five minute lag. So just give us a couple of minutes, everybody, while we get sorted. Michelle, do you want to check if it is coming through? Oh yeah, we're here, we're here. All right, good. So welcome, welcome everybody. We are right on time. It is 7.30. We are live in Those Two Sisters Time to Shine group. So if you are listening from Those Two Sisters Time to Shine group, now or later, I want a massive, enormous, big, vibrant and energetic hello and how are you? Hello there. This the, Drop hello there in the, con, in the comments and then I'll see if they're coming through. Um, there is a lag. There's four people on there. There's four people on here, three people on here. So there should be at least seven if my maths is right. Hey there, how are you? Hello there, how are you? Okay, awesome. Perfect. Great. Let's get started. Okay, the topic for tonight is receiving. We are going to spend 30 minutes together rewiring your receiving receptors. Now, why do we need to do this? The reason we need to rewire your receiving receptors is because most of you have not been taught how to receive. However, funnily enough, your birthright and you when you were born, you just knew how to receive. When you come out of that canal, boom, out you come. <laughs> I think we had some photos of that at Beck's event on the weekend, like out you come. Um, you're in full receivership and your survival depends on it. But as life goes on, what happens is some layers get put on top. Teachers tell you things about yourself. Parents tell you and teach you things about yourself. Your siblings, the little shits, teach you and tell you things about yourself. And you start to learn all these things about yourself and get all these attachments to yourself that aren't really real. So you want to strip back all those layers and I want to be here to, tonight to remind you, and in this 30 minutes, give you a tangible action steps. I always like, if I'm speaking for 30 minutes, I want you to walk away from any amount of time with me and know exactly um, where you are, who you are, what you want, and then how to make the change. So you're walking away and you've had tangible changes. Hey, Sandy, good to see you. Now, if anybody is watching over there on Facebook Live, I can see you all streaming in. Um, there's loads of you on there. So big hey there, hi and hello, say hello to us. And if you're watching the replay, also please say hello. If you would like to jump on and come over to the closed container and the closed group, uh, Michelle, my team, will drop the link in down below, the Zoom link. You guys can't see Michelle, but she's pulling faces at me because I put her on the spot. It'll be there somewhere. So come over to the Zoom link. It's a nice tight knit closed container. And then we can have a little bit of interaction back and forth as well. Um, so I see Jody's on. Hey, Jody. I see Francesca Moy is on. Hello, Francesca. Good to see you. Uh, I was thinking about you today. <laughs> uh, yeah, Michelle's on, of course. Vanessa is on. Hello, Vanessa. Good to see you. Michelle's dropping the link in down below if you want to jump onto the Zoom. And a handful of you else. Yeah, say hello. All the hello. Naomi's on as well. Um, I believe, I think you're back to Cairns. So it's good to see everybody. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I, the reason I noticed this was because so many of us, including myself, a lot of my clients uh, were going through this process and especially in business as well. I was noticing it in business before I noticed it in personal life, um, not being able to receive, not being able to receive for our services or not being able to receive for uh, things that we were offering. So what I wanted to do was create something that could help us pull it apart, dissect it and go, well, why? Why are people not receiving? If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. Drop down in the comments. If you're on the Facebook Live, drop in the comments if you've ever struggled to receive in the past. And the example I want to use is struggling to receive a compliment. So this is basically the most simple thing that we get offered almost daily and how many of us just repel that compliment or just send it back to the person. So let's use an example. So somebody would might say to me, oh, Diane, your hair looks pretty today. And I would go, oh my gosh. Yeah, but have you seen, and this is true, all the greys coming through? Like I'm 41 years old 
And my hair's always been a little bit of a, like a masterpiece, might I say my own self. <laughs> I've just had it cut. People have always commented on my care. And even though I know this stuff, not so long ago, someone commented on my hair and I was like, yeah, I know, but oh my gosh, I'm going gray. So straight away, I'm repelling that compliment. So I want to let know in the comments, if recently you have received a compliment and you have repelled it. Let me know that I'm not the only one. I can see some hands going up. If you're over there on the Facebook Live, let me know. And if you feel brave enough, you could drop in there what the compliment actually was. I also had one about my shoulders the other day. I did a podcast on this on Monday where I give you sort of enough of the information in an audio and direct you some other places to go and learn some more about this. But somebody commented on my shoulders and straight away, although this is the theme for the week, this is what I'm focusing on, in my head straight away it was like, oh, thank, thank you, but um, I know they're not as good as they are in summer. I was like, no, stop, stop. Don't repel the compliment, just receive it. So the first action step of tonight is receive the compliment. Rec recognize when someone offers you a compliment. And the first thing that you're going to do is just simply say, who wants to guess? Who wants to guess? Michelle, take yourself off mute. I was doing lip reading. <clears throat> you doing lip reading. What are you going Thank to say? You. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody in the comments, let's throw the gratitude out there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When someone offers a compliment, just say thank you. Sandy, you look beautiful tonight. Me? Sandy, not you. Oh, Sandy, you look beautiful tonight, not me. Come off mute. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank this, you. Is good. this is exactly how it works. So it's a genuine, genuine, genuine thank you. And I see all the beautiful thank yous coming in on the, on the, the live stream as well. So thank you for that. The next thing that you're going to do, so you say thank you and you nod and you smile. Now this might be pushing a few buttons and taking it a little bit far for a few of you, but you're actually going to agree with the person. So someone says to me, for example, oh, oh Diane, your hair's looking lovely today. Instead of going, oh my gosh, look at my greys and you know, I haven't washed it in a week, which is usually what I say. I can't believe I just said that on Facebook Live. Um, I'm going to say, thank you. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? But, I tell, do I, I tell them my story? you want to cringe. Tell them the story of the message I got this morning. This morning was so far long ago. What was the story? I, I got a text message from a friend I hadn't spoken to for ages and she said, I'm driving the kids to school this morning and I saw some hot blonde chick walking a German Shepherd and she had an amazing body and I thought to myself, wow, look at her body. I wish I had a body like that. And then I realised it was you. Oh, and I just want to say you're looking like you're in really good shape and I wanted to say that even though I couldn't stop and talk. And so how did you feel about it? I was really excited. Like that, was sort of, that first initial, initial feeling, was it like excitement or was it? A bit of both. Yeah, like you don't know how to react. So I was a bit taken back but also really great. I'm, I'm in a lot of gratitude at the moment though, but I was really grateful that she actually stopped to send me the message because that's big. People are busy. Like they see, they think a thought and then they move on with their life. The fact that she's thought enough of me to stop and tell me that was yeah. huge. So I sent a beautiful voice message back just to say, really, really appreciate that message. It made my day. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. And I've got to agree. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the next thing, right? That's the big thing. Mm. Okay. So let's yes. put, Michelle, you look hot today. I was just about to go into the butt. Thank you. I, I, do I just say thank you? Thank you. And you've got to agree. And I agree. <laughs> now, if someone said, you look hot today, what would you say? Um, I think you got the wrong chick. <laughs> thank you. I'm feeling hot too. <laughs> thank you. I'm feeling hot too. Thank you. So this is how challenging it is for us. And, guys, if we can't receive the small things in life, how on earth are we supposed to receive the big things? whether it's the new income, whether it's the new boyfriend, whether it's um, whatever it is in life. So we're just bringing it back to the opportunities that you get pretty much every moment of every day. And that's what I do. Brainwash you. I mean, train you. I mean, remind you to remember your power, to remember the simple things. So when the big things do come in, it's your, your central nervous system has been upgraded. Your energetic field, which Michelle talked about last week, is upgraded and receiving those compliments is your new normal because we are taught 
not to receive a compliment because it might mean, tell me in the comments, or if you're here on Zoom, tell me if, if a woman receives the compliment and is like, oh, yes, thank you, my hair does look great, or I'm looking really good at the moment, what would you think? Serena, back before you started working with us. Um, oh, before I would have thought you were stuck up. Yeah, exactly. So that's what we're taught. So we've got to change the paradigm and it's not always easy. And this is why this community is so important because it gives us a safe place to practice these things before we take it out into the world and get absolutely crucified. No, I'm just kidding. You won't. You be gentle with it and you feel it. So something as simple as a compliment, we are going to receive it. So first step, maybe for the first week, just recognize it and fully receive it. So I like to put my hand on my heart and I look at the person in the eye because even that is challenging sometimes. And I look them right in the eyes and I say, thank you. And that's probably going to be enough for the first week. And then the second week is going to be, thank you, I know. I can see some of the faces like, oh, really? Let's have another practice. Who else is on here? Sandy, I can see your beautiful smiling face. You look so gorgeous and vibrant tonight, but basically every time I see you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to put my hand on my heart. Thank you. <laughs> and? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Is that good and, enough? And I, I know. I know. Oh, and I know. Yes. Oh, thank you. I know. Yeah. How does that feel when you actually say that? Yeah, funny. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> Let's do it. And I want to hear back. I want to hear feedback. So um, definitely every, everybody do that. I'm letting all the people in the room. So uh, right, I'm letting them in. Don't you need to worry about it. <clears throat> okay, you're letting them in. Good, Michelle's got it. I do find a little like Sandy had the right idea there that the <clears throat> the um the slowly going into it, starting with the thank you, and then I find the next step is thank you. I yeah feel really like when people comment, oh you look like you got you look really fit. I always say thank you. I feel really healthy at the moment. I feel really good. And I, I, then I go, this is not good, but then I go to add in, oh, I've been working really hard and like trying to justify it, which I yeah. don't think is necessary. But the feeling good, I think, is a good step because most people can't even say that. Yep. So, and yeah. you know what? That's a really good point. I probably didn't share it because I'm a bit nervous on live here, live here and live everywhere. But now that you say that, that's what I've realised that I do as well. But I sometimes I can hear my voice falter and every single time, it's a reminder to myself. I have the feeling of not good enough or if I say that I'm going to be stuck up and all this happens in a millisecond. And what Michelle just shared is, oh, thank you. I feel really good at the moment as well is, is a really good stepping stone. So everybody give that a go and definitely give me feedback. Thanks for Actually, if you that. do actually feel good, like it's, it's, it's quite easy to say when you're actually feeling really good about yourself, you say, yeah, I feel really good. Thank you yeah, so And even the that. feeling of that, like if everyone feels into that right now, it's a different feeling like when someone gives you the compliment, thank you, I'm feeling really good. We're not necessarily just about our body. It could be anything. Mm. It could be absolutely anything. I mean, and you can back it up a little bit. Oh, you know, and it's, it's a good conversation. So I feel really good. I've, you know, I've, been, I've been working out and eating really healthy and doing my meditation. It feels amazing. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, so it's giving them a little bit of an insight into your and life. Insight and inspiration as well. Yeah, yeah. Because people want to know what Michelle's um, 44 years old. She's had two kids. And people notice her when they're driving down the street, like, oh, what about that body? Yeah, that hot mama. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so the second thing first thing, receive compliments, um, genuinely, wholesomely receive that compliment <laughs> and said. agree with it. Whether that's like, I know, or I'm feeling really good and really vibrant and amazing at the moment, thank you. But we're going to fully receive the compliment. Once again, how can we receive the big things in life? when we're not receiving um, the small things. So we're gonna start small and we're gonna to continue to grow up. The second thing that we are going to do um, in receiving is clear space to receive. Most of our lives are that goddamn jam packed that there ain't no room for anything else to fit in. So once again, a very simple, a very accessible and a very tangible thing that you can do right now when you get off this call. And in fact, if you want to post it up on Facebook, I would invite you all to spend eight minutes clearing space. We did a competition in Soul School and it was amazing what you can accomplish in eight minutes. Um, yeah, Serena won the competition. So she's the first one into our Soul Graduation Program, which is super cool. Yay to Serena. So jump on those two sisters and we want to see what happens in eight minutes for you. So we've got to clear the space. First of all, personal space. If you are going to bed, 
So look at your bedside table, usually for a lot of people. If you're going to bed with clutter and crap all over it, that's the last thing you're subconsciously and consciously seeing before you go to sleep. And it's the first thing that you're seeing when you wake up. So we need to clear the crap off that and create space for goodness to come to you. So you're going to clear space. You're going to clear. I'm inviting you to clear time in your calendar and your diary. If you choose to work with us in one of our higher level packages, this is all the sort of stuff that we train you to do before you get there. So once you get there with us, you are on that starting block and you are ready to go. You're like in that poised get start position and you get a running start. So most people don't have very good time management skills and it's because it's not receiving their own time. So my invitation to you is to book time with yourself every single week, at least once a week. You don't cancel on your clients. You don't cancel on your friends and your family. So you do not cancel on yourself. So if you are going to do that and you're open to that invitation, please let me know in the comments. I am going to book time with myself. Put it in the comments. Book time with myself. There's a bit of a lag on this, so I can't quite see who's there and what you're saying, but book time with yourself. Simply by typing it, it's going to hold you accountable and you know we're going to go back through it. And someone's written it down. Serena's written it down and holding it out. She's taking I'll, it. I'll yell out if there's any comments of importance. Okay, cool. So book time with yourself um, and clear space in the calendar. Now, the other thing that we want to do, because most of us would want to receive well, you guys let me know who would like to receive more income. If you would like to receive more income, drop in the comments, whether you're watching this now or later, more income, please. Absolutely. If you would like to receive more income, more money coming in, then more money going out, money coming in, write in the comments, more income, please. I'm going to see it all. We're not the only ones. So more income, please. Once again, in order to receive more income, you have got to create the space. I can see it. More income, please, please, dollar sign. Send them through, people. Put it out there in the vortex, in the energetic vortex. More income, please. Yes. I've been okay, listening great. to Francesca every night in my every abundance night. meditation. Abundance <clears throat> meditation. Well, I was going to give everybody free meditation at the end of this, so stay tuned, and, and by the time we get to the end, I'll send it to you. So there's, there's a lot of people here saying more income, please. If you're watching this later, De declare it to the universe that you're ready for this and then we need to take some inspired action you'll always hear me say you can't sit on top of the mountains top manifesting and not do anything you've got to take inspired action so then this has got action, bags of money sorry this has got bags of money oh yeah perfect <laughs> there's more coming your way baby perfect so what we want to do is clear out your wallet and your handbag now, usually this information is reserved for our retreat ladies and we actually take them through a whole process and whole afternoon in the retreat is dedicated around money and the energetics of it and why some people have got it and some people don't. And if you want more of it, we clear the energetic sludge, we get rid of all the old crap and it comes flying to you. At our Ascension Circle retreat, it was just like, where is this all coming from? People were 10 times in their commitment within 24 hours, 48 hours is incredible, insane. But that's what we get to go through on the retreat. If you do want more information on our retreat, capital letters, write retreat in the little chat box there, retreat. Put it in capitals. I like to see it in capitals. And then I can have one of the team members send you some information on that. So if you want more information on that. So at the retreat, what we do is you get your handbag. We've got you all good, good stuff. You're there. I see you there already, Serena. <laughs> We're gonna clean out the wallet. So let me ask you right now, what does your wallet and your handbag represent to you? So for me, it's a home for my money. And if your home, it, what's it representing? Is it full of receipts with banana peels and breadcrumbs and apple cores at the bottom if you're a mum, quite possibly? Okay, tell me in the chat, what's the craziest thing you've ever found in the bottom of your handbag? Oh. Oh. Banana peels, apple cores, mandarin skins, cheese. Like, I don't have kids. They don't find apple cores in my handbag. Chewed up music bars of my own. Yeah. Not I have stuff. a little nibble on a cheese. I was going to say, I've got like, you know, like lolly wrappers. <laughs> lolly wrappers. <laughs> nuts. Mm. That's what I was doing music bars. Lolly wrappers. Nuts. Always nuts floating around my bag. Nuts. Because like, they break out and then they're always floating around and then I get desperate sometimes and maybe eat them. <laughs> receipts I think you know receipts is a big thing for people that have just got shoved all the receipts in 
So I want you to go through all the old coupons and all the old cards. My, my wallet used to be jam packed. You'd open it and all the coffee cards to save me $2 on each coffee. <laughs> Let me ask you right now, is that a scarcity mindset or an abundance mindset? If my wallet and my handbag is full of receipts and, and muesli bars and nuts, and it's not looked after, and I'm trying to save 20 cents here or 20 cents there, is that an abundance or a scarcity mindset? What do you think? Let me know, abundance or scarcity. So what you need, my invitation for you is to get your wallet, get your handbag, upend it, pour it all out and only put back in it what you want. Open your wallet. Is it full of receipts? Is it full of money? And what subconscious message is it giving you when you open it? And I know some of you have heard this before, especially the ladies that have made the commitment to get on the Zoom, but how many of you are actually still doing it? And who, how many of you are still maintaining it? So get in there, clean it out. So I have it, thumbs up. I have it probably once a month, I'll go through it. It starts to get a little bit out of hand and then I change it. So rewiring these receiving receptors, once again, is accessible to all of you right now. You can just jump on and get it, jump in and get it done. Um, the other big thing here is your car. What does your car look like? Michelle got hers cleaned out by the hot car detailing man today. She blogged him. Everyone go watch Michelle's Instagram or my Instagram stories. That's pretty cute too. He probably it was pretty this. cute. Remember yeah. that live, he's probably going to watch this, so careful what you say. Sorry. What's it's a little bit of a false sense of security being Evan. in the room, isn't it? Because you forget. Evan, you forget you blasted all over Facebook. Yeah. Evan from Australian Detailing Group. He's full of energy. That's why I liked him. He had a really, really nice, like, upbeat energy about him, which you don't yeah. know to find. He was beautiful. I'm glad I finally met him because he's been here and cleaned my car out a couple of times, but because I've always been working, I've never met him. So I met him on Zoom over Michelle's when he was cleaning Michelle's car out. But if anyone wants those details, let us know. We can hook you up. I told him we were going to have a community car wash and he was going to be there without his shirt on, washing <laughs> all the ladies' cars. It's all about community here, people. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so car, get your car cleaned out. Uh, outsource it. That's, that's going to be another topic. But your life will change when you start outsourcing stuff. And there's often a lot of resistance around that. But once again, outsourcing is just another level of receiving. It's just another way of receiving. Somebody else doing something for you because this is the thing. How many of you run around ragged trying to be everything to any, everybody and do absolutely everything? I know better. I still freaking do it. Put your hand up. Say me in the comments or if you're on the Zoom, let me know I'm not on my own. We try and be everything to everybody. So I've really got to let go of that. I'll see a few hands coming up here and there and just really start to receive people doing things for us, whether it be getting your car washed out, get it, getting a cleaner in, pick one thing tonight when you're listening to this and just start to implement it. And then after you've worked with us for one month, two months, three months, six months, a year, you get to the, the six month mark and you're looking around and you're like, oh, what else can I outsource? Can life be this easy? Can life be this fun? Can business be this easy? Can business be this fun? But don't get into the false sense of security because you're always challenged and there's stuff coming in all over the place, but you just up-level your challenges. So the standard of your life lifts up and gets better. And that's what, what the aim of life is, your experience and your time. That's what we're here for. Um, Michelle says she's the only one commenting on the Facebook Live. So you guys better start. It's because so many people are over here on Zoom. That's why most people are over here. Just naming and shaming them. I just wanted to, oh, here we go, Virginia. I'm starting to get it. Yep, yes, Virginia's yes, starting yes. to get it. Because I can't see who's on there. So hello, Virginie. Yep. Okay, let's get let's get through this. I don't want to go over time. I'm mindful of all of your time. Receiving um, from you first. So uh, invitation for you this week is to go buy yourself a gift. That thing that you would usually buy for everybody else, but you can never afford for yourself. Whether that be flowers, maybe a pretty dress. It could be some, you know, delicate chocolates or jewellery that beautiful piece of jewelry that you've had your eye on, like pretty much every woman I know has a piece of, has her eye on a piece of jewelry somewhere. She's waiting for Christmas or waiting for her birthday. Just splash out something that you desire and really go and get, get yourself that with the intention of fully receiving from yourself. Because if we can't receive from ourselves first, how can we receive from those around us? And that's a really good point to remember. Because then sometimes we will outsource our receiving when we start to understand this and go, oh, this person can do this or I outsource that and I'll get that done and do that. But you're still not giving to yourself. So just take a moment now. And if there's anything else that I've forgotten about that you have for like taking yourself out for dinner, going to the movies, 
all the things you did probably before you had kids that you just don't have time, energy, effort or money for these days. What is those things? Give us some ideas. Anybody else's ideas coming through? I got a facial today and a pedicure. Facials, pedicures, book them in, babies. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What's yours, Michelle? Uh, I need to invest in some more sexy lingerie. Not lingerie, like not lingerie. Oh, now I'm not sort of broadcast on Facebook. Um, you know, like a nice. I'm actually writing it on there for you. How do you spell lingerie? L i n g e r i e. But I mean more like pajama, like silky pajamas. I think to wear nice at night time that makes me feel good. And a bloody spray tan to cover these white misty <laughs> legs. Oh, you crack me up! Crack me up! So what I else? can wear my sexy lingerie. And feel nice. Everybody on the call, I want to hear something from you, even if you put it on the chat, because this is the commitment, making the commitment to yourself that you're going to start to receive. What's your Serena? Okay, so I have turned around and bought myself new furniture for my bedroom, but I need new nails. New what? Nails. Nails. I've got none. I bought them. Okay, you're getting nails. Chi, what's yours? Um... I think just put it in the chat. I think I knew I need new sheets. And yeah, pajamas. You brought up pajamas. I'm like, oh crap. Like I don't know how long it's been since yeah, like pajamas. New pajamas. Yeah. I've written it down. Pajamas. And it's warming yeah. up now, so it's time to get your yeah. legs out. Yeah. Nice, nice. Beck and Vanessa don't have their cameras on, so they or Michelle Pollitt. So they might still be doing stuff. But anybody else listening now or later, let us know. We're gonna hold you accountable to this as well um let's go okay so the next thing that you can do is listen to an audio some podcast books there's so much out there but what i did when i was going through through this and rewiring my receptors personally is i listened to the same audio it was about a 20 second affirmation and i used to listen to it to 40 at 40 minutes at a time it would just be on repeat and it's really obnoxious but it gets deep into your subconscious so me being me went and created my own with a version of that that I heard and that what I heard over here and this bit over here and this bit over there. And I created an affirmation and it's uh, available to all of you for free. So if you say on the Facebook Live group, um, receiving affirmation, I will have the team send that to you for free. So it's on Spotify. It's easy to access. We'll send you the link and you can just listen to it over and over and over and over again. And that one specifically is about income. It's something that the Ascension girls get and go in and deeply rewire those receptors into receiving. So I'm happy to give that all to all of you for free as well. Okay, so now moving on to the next part, there's only a couple of minutes left, but I really wanna to touch on this. If you wanna receive more in your life, I'm gonna ask you how you firstly, or first of all, celebrate yourself, and second of all, celebrate others. So just imagine there's a woman out there, maybe a close friend, maybe someone else in the community, or just maybe someone on social media that you don't even know, and she's doing really amazing and she's doing a really good job. What's the first thing most of the time, if we're honest, people think when we see someone else in Australia doing really well? What do you think? First time round, before we know to celebrate her, before we do this work. I'll tell you what I used to think, that bloody bitch. I hope that's censored. Michelle just said bloody bitch at the same time. That's not fair. Why does she get that? Everything's perfect in her life. And I fold my arms and I drop my bottom lip and just be like, it's just not fair. Mm. And then the vibration is that. So the invitation here is to recognize that. That's okay if that comes up. Welcome it. Welcome it. Let it move through your body. Don't hold on to it. It's the shadow of the feminine. It's called jealousy and comparison. Don't pretend it's not there. It's there. It's a real thing. Let it move through you. And then once it's moved through you, we rewire you. You watch me now. When someone does really well, I've rewired to celebrating the shit out of that woman more than I would even myself. Like genuinely, wholeheartedly, wholesomely celebrating the shit out of that woman. And guess what? When you do it with someone else first and you completely rewire that subconscious, when it comes to you, it's much easier to celebrate yourself. Because something as women we struggle with is celebrating ourselves and our own milestones. And me personally, recently, I've made some pretty massive, you can see two of them right here, both bestsellers. So two, I've, I've published two books, which is a pretty big deal because I can't spell. 
and I'm actually not a very good writer. <laughs> They've both gone bestseller. This one here knocked Tony Robbins off the top, Tim Ferriss, all the big wigs, investing, finances, business, time management, all the business economics, top of all the categories that I entered it in. And I didn't celebrate it because I just didn't know how. I just moved on to the next thing. So we've got to take this time. First of all, celebrate others like you would yourself. If the jealousy and comparison comes up, don't make it bad or wrong or naughty. Just recognize it. Hello, jealousy. Welcome. You're welcome here. It'll move through. When you, when you, um, when you call it out, it just moves through you. So many people spend all their life trying to suppress it and push it down. It comes out in ailments, illnesses, disease. So just let yourself fully feel it and celebrate that person. We rewire everything and we start to celebrate ourselves very naturally. Um, yeah, I think that's the, the most of it. Is there anything else that you want to add, Michelle? No, but I just wanted to tell everyone that next week, Diane and I will be presenting together. Yep. And then the first Thursday of the next month, I'll be doing my soul. So we're alternating. I'll be doing my um, my next soul one will be on a, um, we're going to learn about different brainwave states and how we flip in and out of um, levels of consciousness. And we have an interview in there as well. So it, pretty much every Thursday night, the, the easiest thing is to, yeah, there'll be something on, on 7.30 on a Thursday night on the Time to Shine Facebook group. And if you would like to be interactive, um, then we'll we'll um, give you the Zoom link where you can register and come in and be part of like the interaction as well, which is I think yeah. rather important. Yeah. So yeah. So, but next week's you and me, babes, together. Yeah, we're going to do it together. And then before that, we also have six steps to soul success oh, yeah. workshop this Saturday. So if anybody wow. wants a free ticket to that, they're valued at twenty bucks. We're still doing it online. If anybody would like a free ticket, just drop in half day workshop into the comments and one of the team will be in touch with you and um, gift you a ticket to the half day workshop, six steps to soul success. It's four hours. And even after that four hours, massive change in people's life. We take them through the six steps to soul success that both Michelle and I have done personally to build the business of our dreams, the body of our dreams, um, the life of our dreams, relationships of our dreams. And it's not luck. There's some things that, we're, that we do that, we, that we're teaching our people and now you guys are starting to have these results. So if you want to get these results, if you want to find out how we can help you, um, what's the name of the call, Michelle, if they get 15 minutes with us? Francesca calls it Game Changer. Connection, well, as is the connection call. As is the connection call, yeah, I forgot the name. If you would like to speak to either Michelle or I, or one of the team, 15 minutes and we can just see where you're at. And we can direct you the best the best place for you to move to next. There's so many beautiful, amazing conscious products that we've created. Um, both Michelle and I would love to gift you 15 minutes there. But I highly recommend everyone making sure you come to that Six Steps to Soul Success workshop. Keep jumping online to see us all the time. We've got the podcasts out there that go out every, mine are going out every week. Michelle goes out every fortnight or so when she's interviewing people. And yeah, just, just open, open the heart. Start receiving the small things first, the compliments, um, clear the space for more to come in. So then, yeah, when your life starts to open up, you've up-leveled and it just becomes very natural and normal to receive the bigger things in life, which is really important. So thank you, everybody, for joining us and we will see you uh, on Saturday. Bye.